Now, you know, one thing that is important is that when I offer him these choices, they have to really be choices. Don't ask him about what he likes better than what. You don't get sensible answers when you ask people things like that. If you say, well, geez, you know, would you prefer to do your homework earlier? You prefer to wait to the last minute. Okay? Or say, oh, yeah, I prefer to do it early. Every damn week you wait till the last minute. <laughs> so it's like, you know, I, I, that, that answer is worth nothing to me. I got to, you know, this has to be a real choice. These are real choices. You ask people how much you drink. And then you total them out, all the amount that people say they drink. What do you think you find? It adds up to a hell of a lot less than the total amount of alcohol sold. Half. You ask them how much you go to church. You go to church. They ain't there. Right? It's like there's a lot more people saying they're going to church than they're actually in the church. Should, be, should you be surprised by that? Heck no. I don't want you to think I'm a drunk. Of course I'm going to tell you I drink less than I do. Unless I'm 12 years old, in which case, yeah, I drink it all the time. <laughs> That's, you know, it's like, you know, but it's not surprising that 12-year-olds are going to overstate how much they drink. And 40-year-olds are going to understate how much they drink. That's economics, right? Think about the costs and the benefits. Anyway, we'll stop here and we'll pick up the video.